Morning everyone and it is a very sad day today because it is our travel home day. It's going to be our last little look at this view of a morning. I have really enjoyed it. It's been stunning looking at these views every single morning. Just admiring it one more time. Uh, so we're up and about. It's currently about half past nine. So we did have a little bit of a lay in. We're potentially going to do a bit of early entry but we decided against it because we were just too tired to be up at, you know, half six so we didn't do that, we just had a bit more of a lie-in, had a nice shower, just packing up the last little bits, packing up the villa we're going to check out of here, and then uh, we might go straight to Universal or something, do some bits for a few hours, and then we've got to go to the airport at 3 o'clock, our flight's at uh, 6 o'clock, so uh, we do need to be at the airport about 3, half 3, so yeah, sad times. It, this 15-day trip has gone quicker than the eight day trip we did in January. It's just flown by, absolutely flown. I don't know why it's gone so quick. But uh, yeah, we'll head in, see how Laura's getting on with the packing. Laura's just putting some last bits in. Really enjoyed this villa, it's been nice. They all have, all been fantastic. Okay, we're nearly there then, Laura. How are you getting on? Nearly done. Nearly done. Nearly done. We had a lot to pack up. We are only travelling with hand luggage, so our hand luggage is now full to the rafters. <laughs> the yeah, can't get any more in either. Can't do any more shopping, Laura. We are um, full. So we did have one casualty this trip, and that was this battery pack, my favourite one. And uh, unfortunately, it really swelled up with the heat. I don't want to risk flying with it now. You can see it all cracked here where it's swollen. Really did swell up in the heat over here this trip, which is uh, a shame because I like that. Really, really good, that pocket juice ones. I'm going to try and get another one. But yeah, it's uh, all swollen up. So I'm going to leave that here. Obviously, I can't just be in a battery and I uh, don't know how, where to put them. So I'm going to leave it in here and uh, I'm sure the cleaners will dispose of it properly. Uh, the Mr. Beast chocolate, I'm not fussed on, Laura. Okay. Didn't. Uh, yeah, it didn't blow me away and we've not got enough space just to take it. I'll take it back and give it to the family, but we've not got any space, yeah. so not worth taking that. Not, uh, didn't blow me away the Mr. Beast chocolate, I'm no, afraid. I didn't enjoy it either. So that's it. What a gorgeous stay this was. Really enjoyed that aspect. I'm going to miss that uh, lake view. I really will. I'll be sitting in work thinking I will. I'll be sitting at home editing, wishing I was editing out here with uh, that view beautiful it's absolutely stunning but right we're gonna hit the road we might pop up to universal for a little bit have a little coffee maybe do one or two rides a little go on the water guns or something and then uh, from there we can go straight to the airport we did have late checkout here but to make it all a bit smoother uh, we're just gonna check out now and then we can go straight to the airport from uh, wherever we end up the six o'clock flight some people say it's quite early you don't really get much of a day here on the last day, but then at the same time, we've done a, an e we did an evening one with Virgin one time, like 10 p.m. at night, and that was a bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, dragged a bit, didn't it? Right, let's hit the road. Let's uh, lock up. Lovely stay here. Don't forget, all the information for this villa is uh, in that little tour video. I will leave it in the description as well if you want to check out Swanky VK. We've got all the villas that we've stayed in. Well, it's been very nice. Brand new home, first to ever stay in it. We've uh, left it pretty spot on. There's uh, quite a bit of money there for the cleaners to if you add it all up. There's quite a few courses there. And then just the battery pack I can't bin. Yeah. Yeah, left it all absolutely pretty spot on, really. We're going to use one bedroom and that's it. So they've not got too much of a, a hard job cleaning up. So it'll be a quick clean. Nice clean for them, yeah. Yeah, right. Let's hit the road. So this is the last time we're coming down here this trip. Last time you'll see those universal signs. Just this trip though. It's a little bit sad, isn't it? But we'll Don't come so back. Quick. I know. So quick. We're gonna pop in. Uh, it's now eleven o'clock. We had to quickly film the clubhouse and stuff for the villa yeah. tour. Um so yeah, it's now eleven o'clock. So we've got till I think three o'clock. We got there at the airport half three. Yeah. time because don't forget we haven't got to check in any cases exactly we, we'll head in here then we'll go for food as well before we get to the airport yeah we're gonna pop in here for a couple of hours bite to eat and then uh it was head just too hard down. to get up if we could have we'd have got up for the early entry and everything but it was just i think just we've been good, yeah, pushing ourselves too much of a night as well but i think because we're used to working late at home now 
Yeah. So I think we've just pushed ourselves just a bit too much of a night this trip. And then obviously you're popping into Horror Nights, which is late. Normally you're, you know, chilled yeah. at home when you're in. So popping into Horror Nights as well does, people have commented that it does mess up your mornings a little bit because you're a bit knackered from yeah. staying at Horror Nights till, you know, didn't get one home until half one last night. Well, so. I was packing till three. Yeah, it's... Uh... So, yeah. But it's okay. But well, next time we come, we'll um, maybe have some more early nights. Yeah, there'll be no horror nights next time yeah. we come, so it's uh, but yeah, it's it's not easy as, as I've always said, once you get towards the end it gets harder and harder and harder. It does, it does, especially when we're so busy as well. Yeah. And we were so busy leading up to it, weren't we? Yeah. But that's fine. We had a great time. Yeah, Don't have another last couple time. of hours of uh, magic. Oh looking busy heading in. Oh my god. Well, I was about to say a lot of people universe seem to arrive like later on they just pop in yeah it's not quite as um i think as disney getting there that first hour yeah you know a bit, bit more flexible we know we can pop in now and do a few rides yeah and have so. a walk around have a nice coffee yeah and a lot of these people do as well they're the same we'll come in yeah. walk around do a ride or two have a nice drink yeah yeah so we'll do that today nice easy day and hopefully on the plane tonight i'll pass out Hopefully you'll sleep. sleep. Oh my god. I'm hoping it's another quiet flight so I can take up a row four and just have a nap. Well we're all checked in with Aer Lingus. The, they've given us good seats. It's the two together next to the window. That's good. Because it goes two four two on the Aer Lingus. Yeah. So we're on we've got two together next to each other. That's nice. because uh, it is random seat allocation when you don't have a suitcase and stuff or you if you don't if you want to guarantee sitting together you gotta to pay, but we always just take the risk and they yeah, did put us sat together to be fair. Yeah, we sat separately a, a few times, haven't we? Once or twice Virgin sat us separately but a couple yeah. of times, but we uh, didn't want to pay, so that's the way it goes. Yeah, yeah. we're lucky to be next to each other now yeah. and hopefully we'll just have a nice dinner. I'm, I'm excited to see what the dinner's like on this coming home. Yeah. On the Lingus. So we'll have a nice dinner, hopefully have a, have a nap. But I've got plenty of things downloaded on me on my phone and stuff, so I'm happy about that. Then we're going to be doing our trick to beat the jet lag. If you want to beat the jet lag going home, you've got to stay up the day you arrive back. Yes. So tomorrow we land at seven in the morning and we have to try and stay up the whole day. And by the time you get to nine o'clock, you're knackered, you go to bed and you wake up the following morning. It, you get back into the, the UK time zone much quicker. It's really hard to do, but if you can stay up that whole day, you go to bed knackered about eight, nine, ten o'clock sleep right through to the following morning get up at eight in the morning you get back into the routine much quicker than if you get home at you know seven eight in the morning go to bed sleep till one in the afternoon oh no, then your yeah. body clock's all messed up again and then you're eating at weird times and then you can't get to sleep when you go to bed at nine o'clock or ten at night yeah. you can't get to sleep and yeah it just takes that extra couple of days doesn't it and we're straight back into work when we get back to tenerife so we really can't be in no I mean, going straight back into work helps beat it as well, because you've got no other option but to drag yourself out of bed to get to work at nine in the morning. So yeah. that gets you back into it quite quickly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's our, that's our thing that we do every time, trying to stay up that first day we arrive back. Yeah. And uh, plough on through. Go to bed early. I mean, normally it's sleep. not too bad for us to do either, because normally we're seeing family and stuff as well, so that keeps us up anyway. Yeah, like. so I'll be going home to my mum and dad, and then we're going off a nice meal that night. Yeah, I've got little um, Jude coming down, my sister and stuff to see me. So, so even if you wanted to sleep, I'll be occupied with that anyway. Yeah. So yeah, it does. But uh... well, yeah, if you got any tips to tips to beat the jet lag, let us know in the comments. Yeah, tips for beating it. Do you just sit on coffee all day until bedtime, or do you avoid caffeine and stuff? Does that help? It's interesting, isn't it? It'd be interesting mm. to see what other people do. Yeah. If anyone's tried our tick trick, because we've um, we've said this one for about four or five trips yeah. now, the staying up the day you arrive back. If anyone's tried it and likes it and it thinks it works, let me know that as well. Yeah. So change of plan. It's taken a while to get in here today, so yeah, it's don't been about really... been about fifteen minutes already, and we're still not through. So yeah. change of plan. We're uh, gonna leave here. We're just gonna tell the once you get to the booth, you just say you want to exit, and they just send you out and um, we're gonna go quickly pop to mall at millennia see if there's any more moon swatches yeah and then go from there 
we need to get some fuel. I'd like to maybe pop into celebration for a coffee. Yeah. Then we'll go for a Chili's. Yeah. And in the airport. Sounds like a really good plan. Sounds yeah, like I a think, nice day, easy day. I think, yeah, we've not judged it. It's Friday in October. A lot, lot busier coming in at this time. So, but I think by the time we park and walk in and everything, we needed to be up for early entry basically, but we just couldn't do it. So, yeah, couldn't go. Uh, changed the plan. Changed the plan. Yeah, but sounds like a nice plan. I'm going to enjoy it. Like, nice last coffee on Celebration Lake. Yeah, it will be nice that. We'll, yeah. uh, so, in hindsight, we should have gone straight and done the celebration thing, but hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, especially with us, yeah. yeah. Here we are then, Mall at Millennia, a bit of different weather to when we were here on Sunday, just a bit. We're literally just going to pop into the swatch shop, see what they've got. I might pick up uh, one uh, from a friend if they've got one uh, that we like. Let's just see what they've got. Since we're down this end, worth having a little look. We did also just fill up the car as well, back up to full, ready to return it. So uh, I always go for just retaining the fuel on the same level. If you go for the fuel option where you can bring it back empty, it's, uh, I don't think it's that great. You're never gonna bring it back on fumes, are you? You're always gonna give it back with like a quarter tank. I always just find, pick it up full, retain it full, job done. If you do the fuel option where you pay for the full tank and you can bring it back empty as well, that full tank of fuel does cost you a lot more than normal. I'm gonna try a seat in a little Tesla, Laura. It's nice, isn't it? You sit in that, see what it feels like. Although we have sat in a Tesla before. We had a Tesla taxi in uh, Amsterdam, didn't we? Got lucky that day because everything is gone. Everything, not a single color left in stock. They were gonna get a delivery, hopefully later on today, they said. So, got lucky that day, Laura. Everything completely gone. That's a shame. We're checking out, but we know now when we come next time where to come. Yep. First thing in the morning. And uh, we'll do it early on in the trip as well. So if they're sold out like they are now, we can at least pop back another day, yeah. yeah. Try and find out when their deliveries are. Do you want a very quick look in Lululemon, Laura, before we go? Okay. Well, I promise everyone, this is the last change of the day because the plan has changed again. I don't know what's up with us today. We're a bit all over the show. Uh, so we've now come to Disney Springs instead. I want to return this hat because I don't feel like I'm gonna wear it and I wanna change it and get another shirt. I really like those shirts. Uh, so I'd rather take that back, pay a little bit more and get a shirt. Then we're gonna have a Starbucks and then we're gonna have uh, Blaze Pizza and Chicken Guy for dinner. So the plan's changed again. No chilies, no celebration. But we've got a couple of hours in here now. It's, uh, yeah, just it's a bit all over the show, aren't we? Yeah, I think it's, it's going easier on. to relax in here now today. I think so, yeah, we've only got a couple of hours. It's just a bit all over the show, aren't we? <laughs> Finally, we got a coffee. What a strange, hectic morning that was. The balloon behind us, nice little view. Was there, uh, yeah, it's been a, not like us to be a bit all over the show like we have been. I took the hat back, got a nice shirt for work instead. Uh, that was of similar value, so uh, the hat was a bit of an impulse purchase. And then when you think about it, I'm like, I've got some at home, I do not need a hat. So, changed my mind, took it back, swapped it, job done. Enjoy our coffees, and then it's dinner time. Yeah, what a weird hectic last day. I know, I'm mad, isn't Not it? normally like this, are we? No, but <laughs> I'm enjoying it though, I am enjoying it. You're enjoying just whizzing around, getting nothing done? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure some of the viewers are very frustrated with how our morning's gone. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit hectic today. So Laura's gone off to Blaze. I'm here at Chicken Guy now. Enjoyed a nice Starbucks. Coffee was lovely. We're going to have a nice little bite to eat now. So we're all set for the flight. Good for Laura to eat now as well. So if the food isn't great on the plane, she uh, has had a good sized meal for the day. Luckily, nice no queue, nice, uh, no queue here either. So, get straight in, get myself a nice chicken, guys, which I love. Gonna go for the tenders again today. Tried the sandwich last time, go for the tenders. Do enjoy it in here, it is nice. Gone for that same sauce again, the teriyaki, which I love. Laura got some chips as well, just waiting for Laura to come back with her pizza. And it's gonna set us up nicely for the airport now. I don't know why, I tell you what, that uh, oxygen didn't do much last night, did it? Because I'm still absolutely knackered. And my head's still frazzled today. So it didn't do much, did it? <laughs> it's, uh, it's been one of those strange last travel days, to be honest. But we're all checked in. Having just hand luggage really helps. Not having to stress about getting there and queuing up to put your bags in. We've uh, just got to negotiate security. We're traveling from that new terminal as well, Terminal C. 
So we'll see if that's a little bit quieter to go through. Might be a bit quieter on the security side of things. And then we'll have a little look around there. We haven't been through there before, so that'll be new for the channel as well. Seeing what that, that's like to travel through Terminal C. Yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy this lunch now and then uh, hopefully Laura comes back with her pizza soon. Here's Laura with her pizza. Gone for just cheese today, Laura? Just double cheese today, yes. Nice and simple. Uh, looks good. Looks amazing. I can't wait to dig into it. Did it take a while, though? Don't yeah, you have been gone for about 25, 30 minutes. I know, all the little pizza. It's crazy how, how slow it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're sorted now. That's you fed for the day. That's me done, yeah. Okay, so here we are then, uh, towards the airport. It was a little bit rushed in the end uh, with the chicken guys. Now we got a, got us fed and then jumped in the car and off to a uh, pretty easy drive that was as well. Only different routes. Different routes, only got 15 minutes to get to the Take exit 11 toward International So Air. we'll um, keep you posted on using or going through Terminal C. We've never done it before, so We'll show you the car rental return. I think it should all be dead easy signposts. Yeah. And then explore the airports like inside and stuff. Might be a little bit different, might be a few more options okay. than the, Ooh, that'd be nice. the usual. Right. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, it looked nice and modern when we walked through. It did look nice when, when we were walking through yeah. it on arrivals. Could be more options or there could be less. But I think there's I they they come less. shops and stuff, yeah. I'm, I'm just hoping security's quieter. Oh, yeah. Going through the bag check and stuff, because I'm definitely going to get stopped and they're going to want to swap oh, yeah. all those prime sachets because it looks like I'm going through with all kinds yeah so I'm definitely going to be stopped so I need to allow time for that because right. they'll definitely want to swab and check those sachets aren't uh, yeah definitely anything dodgy but yeah we're just going to sign let's follow all the signposts Laura will show you yeah so you've got A, B and C so we'll just follow it for C and then it does tell you what airline each one so there you go next one says Terminal A that's where you'd go for Virgin Atlantic just keep an eye out for your airline on those big boards. Really good that they do that, isn't it? Yeah, I've so some people that. panic and go, oh, what, what terminal was it? Would be B or C or A? It, it does tell you on the signs. I know it's C, but I will always double check and just to check that we see on Terminal C, Aer Lingus. Yeah, just make sure you're always in the right lane. Yeah, that's one thing about these roads, isn't it? The turn-offs just come off dead quickly, yeah. or it'll say on the left side, follow this road for I-95 yeah. or whatever. So there you go. Terminal C, Aer Lingus. There you go. Okay. So nice and easy, and it's got it on the floor as well. Yeah, the, on the floor helps because the signs above can be a middle little misleading. Use the right two lanes to turn slightly right to stay on Jeff Cookwell Boulevard. Signs for Terminal B. Rental return, Terminal C. This should be nice and easy. Yeah, it should be all right. Continue on Jeff Cookwell Boulevard. Telling the viewers, Boulevard. Laura, that yeah. oxygen has been yeah. to be worse, I think, today. Oh, hey, has it? <laughs> yeah. We've been a nightmare today. We've been all over yeah. the show. Oh, no, but I was up till three packing. I know, but it's like the decision making of us. Like the, the, that oxygen last night just sent me out. I think we're just knackered. <laughs> I think we just pushed ourselves too much this holiday. Okay, I'm still following Terminal C. It's just good to show you if anyone's worried about Yeah. Because some people come dead early because they're worried about this bit. Call rental return, A, B and C. Just follow those signs. And we should be pretty a-okay. I think it's going to come up on the left in a minute. Yeah, because it, this quite... Easily missed, isn't it? We've missed it once or twice before, haven't we? Yeah. So always just be careful. Still a little bit confused now, though. Still look. Mm. South exit to C. Yeah, so we've still got to exit. Yeah, so there you C. go. C. So C. That's, that's a little confusing, isn't it? It is. Again, we've never done this before, so there we go. Terminal C, rental return. It's good to know it's a completely different building to the other building you see, so. Yeah, and just keep your wits about you as well when you're driving. 
Yeah, you know, just take your time. And if lower you, your music down, take your time, don't have conversations. Just, if you miss it, you can always go around again anyway, but yeah. it's handy to not miss it. There you go, Terminal C, flights, rental return, parking and train parking. Yeah, this is where the bright line goes from as well. Oh yeah, I can see it. That new uh, train down to Miami and Fort Lauderdale as well. Just a couple of stops on the way down. So we want to be in the left lane. There you go. Over. To do the car rental. Interesting traveling from this uh, brand new building. We'll see exactly what it's like inside. It might be the most amazing Could be. Uh, terminal in the world. So there's the train station right there as well. Yeah. That's really good. So you can jump on your train. But yeah, this has all been easy. Then again, it tells you which side you want to go on. So we're left because we're Alamo. Yep. There you go. Easy. easy. Dead easy fuels back on full as it should be. We're going to do a little video when we get out just to show there's no damage uh, damage on it or anything. Alamo straight ahead. Okay, so the man has just been over and uh, scanned us in and just checked uh, everything on the car, but I'm, I'm just going to show it on the video as well, just in case. So we'll just show that the fuel is back on full. Let's just see, there we go, back on a full tank. Perfect, and then what we'll do is we'll jump out and just quickly show that there is uh, no new damages or anything on the car since we got it. Laura's just grabbing the cases out. Yeah, you just show everything is exactly the same as it was when we got it. It's been a good little car, not quite as economical as the RAV4 we had last time, I will say. But uh, yeah, good car. That's job one done, car rental dropped off, dead easy as always with Alamo, printed off the receipt, fuel's back on full, car's the way it was, job done. I think that's always the easiest way of doing it than doing the fuel option and stuff. Fuel options, they make money on, so whichever way you do it, they're going to make money on the fuel. I just prefer pick it up full, drop it back full, job done. Right, so we've now got to find our way across. One thing to note here, if you have got luggage, that many people do mention in the, in the groups, not a really a positive is that these trolleys here if you want trolleys for your suitcases to walk with they're seven dollars seven dollars for a trolley so just bear that in mind if you've got lots of luggage and you're planning on using a trolley it's seven dollars here in this terminal i think it's a different price to what you normally get in the other terminal so just bear that in mind seven dollars right okay let's uh, head on over I'm glad we've just got hand luggage laura so just there is where you can rent a trolley. As you can see, $7 for a trolley. Uh, they do normally have the men coming over to help you, yeah, but maybe yeah. not at this terminal because it's quite easy maybe. Yeah. They're not necessary. But uh, yeah, if you want a trolley, just be prepared to, or maybe have the $7 ready. We'll go up in the lift. I think it should be pretty simple. They build the modern airports as simple as they can now. Still constructing though out there. It's a gorgeous day. Very sad to be going home. Everyone knows this feeling. When, uh, if you've been here before, you know what this feeling's like. You're just sitting there and you're like, this time a few days ago. What level are we? I don't know. Press one. One? Oh. This, this is level one. I want to go up to level two to go across, I think. That's a bit confusing. Ah, it's all on here, Laura. So we want the walkway level three. Okay. Walkway to terminal. There you go, that would be clever, wouldn't it? It's car rental still level two. So you go, we're still even, even though uh, we, we haven't got a clue what we're doing. So you're learning with us. Yeah. So level three takes you across to that walkway. You can see the walkway there above us. It's gonna walk us into the terminal. Okay, so when you come out of the lift, you've got different colored lines on the floor and different directions. So terminal C is what we want. So we're down there, we're gonna follow the blue line. If you're going to the train station or terminals A and B, you can walk down that way and follow the orange and green line. Right, so terminal C, nice and clearly marked on the floor. I like that. You can see though, there's a lot more sort of walking involved. You can see why 
people would want trolleys if you've got big suitcases. That's something new and different for us, this. Don't even feel like we're in Orlando Airport right now. So you can see a good view from here of where we're heading into. This big new building here, which is where we came out of. Where did the 15 days go, Laura? Because it feels like two minutes ago we were coming out of there. Have you walked up 15 days to tell them yet? 15 days, it feels like two minutes ago we were at immigration getting grilled. <laughs> and it feels, yeah, and we were stood here, you know, Laura was stood there waiting to get the car. Ah, oh, it just goes too quick. Too quick, man. Well, lovely and peaceful so far. Nice and quiet through here. But yes, definitely a bit of a track. The lady on the way in saw me filming. She was like, oh, look up, you can see it's built like a plane. Then you've got the wings there and then the main body of the plane here. She said it was like part of the design. Oh, yeah. This lovely lady here. Yeah. So you can see it now being a bit like a plane. Yeah, that's the nose up there. Clever. Right, so there's all the gates down there. That's where we can head straight to because we don't have to uh, drop any bags off, uh, which is handy. You see downstairs checking, so we need to go down anyway and just go down the escalators or you can use the lift. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on the $7 charge for a trolley. I mean, the airport's got to make money. It is beautiful, this new uh, terminal. Very nicely finished. So they've got to make money. Obviously, they've spent a lot to, uh, to make it. Got to make money somehow. I believe they don't charge for drop off and pick up, which they do in a lot of UK airports. It's like five quid at Manchester now, uh, four or five quid at Liverpool as well. So they've got to make money some way. Just seems a bit excessive though, seven dollars. It's probably about five pounds for a trolley. I think I feel sorry for you know likes of older people and stuff who really need one. And it's interesting. Do let me know your thoughts on that. So I think we can just head straight to the gates. We haven't got to do a bag drop, that's all jet to. We'll have a little look. Got bags of time, bags of time. So have a look at these screens here. More check-in desks over there, but one thing you notice is how peaceful it is. There's no one in security there either. This is gonna be uh, hopefully very pleasant indeed. So there you go. Clearly signposted Aer Lingus C16 to a C17. So they're also checking in the Azul and JetBlue, so over there would where we'd be where we drop our bags. Over there, a lot of the electronic uh, self-check-in systems as well over there. We don't need to do that. No, so I think we just go straight on food and want food and look at what gate we are. Yeah, I've spoken to a few subscribers this trip as well, who have said that they've done our trick and just done hand luggage and we've sort of shown them how they can come maybe do an extra trip a year by traveling light, cheap flights, saving on the bags and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, it's interesting. Out, I think so. We spoke to a family yesterday and they said getting their bags when they arrived was a total nightmare. They were really aggravated by it. An hour, an hour and a half. Landed here, straight off the plane, an hour and a half to get the bag. Because you've got to get the bag before you go through security in this yeah. terminal. I'd so say, yeah. Like, the other flights came at the same time. It was just yeah. It's another flight from Manchester or London. And so, yeah, it's, uh, if it does disgruntle you and stuff and you're gonna have a washing machine and you're not too bothered, it's not a fashion show over here. It's yeah. all about comfort. And so if you're, if you're into that, definitely worth just doing what we've done. You can see we've got, a, we've got a lot packed into these. I've got my rucksack on, Laura's got a bag on. We've got our uh, Disney carrier bag going through. Laura's doing her eyebrows there. Yeah. We'll see how we get on. I think we'll be fine. Okay, so all the information is displayed on these departure boards as well, including which gate you are and everything on that if you're on time. I've got to say, I love it in here. Just been to the toilets, it's absolutely stunning. It's brand spanking new, but oh, it's gorgeous. Top level finish. So we're heading straight through security now. Obviously, can't film through there, so we will catch you on the other side uh, when we're in the gate area and we'll have a good little explore. We're going to get through with all this stuff first. Laura, the electricals everywhere, sachets of prime. TSA, that'd be really good. That'd be nice, yeah. I know. What's the best security in Orlando? <laughs> Terminal C. <laughs> Laura, go forward. <laughs> Laura, go back. <laughs> Look at that, Laura. It looks like you're going on Ratatouille. Oh. The guys just welcomed them onto it. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> like the Ratatouille ride. Their security was fantastic. Uh, surprisingly, they didn't want to swab the sachets or anything. So it was nice and quick. It's absolutely brilliant. I don't know whether they've got new scanners that are better or something, but 
That was absolutely spot on. Loving this terminal. Really am. Clean, modern, sleek. Got a shake shack there. That's going to be nice to have a little wander around somewhere new. Plenty of seating. We've got a Starbucks. We've got a Universal store. Disney store. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. Got to say, so far, it beats the, uh, beats the other terminal, I would say. There's even a TripAdvisor store. Random TripAdvisor. <laughs> Random store to have. Must be like a convenience store, I think. Travel store. Yeah, look at these. I can hear the uh, French music in my head now. Look at these, look. Look at that. <laughs> right this way. <laughs> Funny. Funny. They're cool, though. They're really good. They're really handy. Yeah. Well, Mum and Dad would love that, yeah. Right, let's have a little moochie mooch then. We've got a nice Starbucks. That's certainly going to be getting a hit. There you go. Here it comes. <laughs> Starting off then with a look in the Disney store. Like we haven't looked through enough of these then, Laura. <laughs> We've looked through a lot of these, but we're going to have another little gander. Good place to buy some uh, last minute bits and souvenirs and stuff. And as Laura says, if you buy stuff in here, they can't uh, stop you taking it on. We also do get annual pass discounts in here yeah. and in the Universal one as well. You could have bought your book in here, Laura. Yeah. There it is, look. We looked that round all over the show that day and you could have just bought it in here. <laughs> Let's have a little look. Oh, nice little throw. Haven't seen that before. The castle there's gorgeous, isn't it? This shot. Gorgeous in here. I like it. Definitely enjoying this new terminal. Oh, Universal one next. Just having a little eye for any little souvenirs you might want to get, even though we've got no space. <laughs> Just nice to pass the time in some nice big new stores. I mean, look at that for a cool display of Volcano Bay. Just nice to pass the time. It's on two stories, this shot. It's just nice to, yeah, pass the time with such a fresh, modern, airy. Love it. Love this airport, this terminal. There you go. Horror Nights merch as well, all in here. Our favourite candle in the Universal one is definitely this one. Love is Universal. It smells a bit like soaring, that one. That one's really nice just come upstairs how cool is this in this shop these are better than the shops in the actual park and there's some stuff in here that we've not seen in the parks as well so the whole upstairs section is all your harry potter stuff laura like that one and all the different ones here on display this is better than in the parks but then i think in the parks people had run off with these and stuff you have to be careful yeah it's uh yeah I tell you what, if you're going to be shopping for some of the merch, I'd almost be tempted just to wait and do it in here. Yeah. You've got the free roam of the shop, you can have a proper look around, you know, look at things nice and closely, everything's lit up really nice in here as well. You can have a real good look around properly, can't you? And use up some time, you love this screen effect thing here. That's really cool. Love that. Right across the shop. We're in the queue at Starbucks for one last little lemon loaf and a coffee. We did uh, stop in the Universal shop, picked up a mug uh, for a friend, and then we ended up buying this Halloween Horror Night See You in the Fog reusable bag. We absolutely love the reusable bags. We use them for everything. Recycling so, and all kinds, yeah, yeah shopping. So. so we've got a Disney one. We've got, got a Universal a one now, See in the Fog. Yeah, we're seeing the Fog, yeah, that defo. Yeah. Defo. So Laura's put a Disney bag in that one now, so we've just got the hand luggage and then one shopping bag, yeah. so we're absolutely fine. Little coffee, little one last American lemon loaf. Remember, they're different. They're different. Met some lovely some subscribers wandering around as well. Yeah. There's a couple of uh, flights going out uh, from here with British Airways as well as Aer Lingus. And there's still so much to explore. I love all these interactive screens where they're all moving and stuff. Yeah, yeah I think they're really nice. It gives you something that's not visual. Just yeah. Walls. yeah it's, it's nice. nice. So we're going to keep an eye on the screens, see what gate we're on. So we've got a little bit to uh, wander through, grab a couple of drinks for the flight as well. Yeah, time's gone quickly now, wandering around those shops. I'm going to go as far as to say, this is probably the, my favourite terminal we've ever flown from. Yeah, this is 
We've done some nice ones as well. We've done Amsterdam, all of those. We've done London. This has got to be the nicest, I think. This is lovely. Really nice, yeah. Lovely. Just watching the screens tells you how long it takes to walk to each gate. Gonna have a little wander in a minute, show you what other shops are here. And then we'll wander to ours, aren't you? Better get the loo and get yourself sorted, haven't you? I bet you that PGA Tour grill is nice as well. A little, Probably, little yeah. golf grill. Yeah. yeah. Nice. nice. So next to Shake Shack, you've also got Cinnabon and Auntie Anne's. We've got a Chick-fil-A as well there. As well, that PGA Tour grill up there looks lovely. Proper nice lounge. And then up to the left there is the uh, premium lounge as well, which looks, looks beautiful. Nice. Yeah. I like how airy it is. I just like that you can see outside, loads of natural light. Super clean, sleek, not mental busy. It's gorgeous. And as, as I said, those changing screens. Yeah, you got a wine bar. George is going to keep walking. TripAdvisor shop that just sells drinks and stuff like that. We've seen a shop over there we're going to go to instead. Um, but yeah, going to continue a little bit of a wander. Then Laura's going to get changed. Then it's time to go to the gate, I think. Yeah, the Plaza Premium Lounge. I imagine they've got stunning views there as well. The Sarno Pizzeria underneath, Green Beat. It's a SeaWorld store as well. And then you start leading into the gates. There's the interactive screen there. That just slowly changes to different things. Just makes, gives a whole different feel to the place, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's really thought about it, Yeah. Got Wine Bar George here, if you like a glass of wine. Another, uh, that's the entrance to the Premium Lounge down there. You've got another little county brews further down in the gates. And then just behind here, behind our interactive wall, is the 360 Juicy Free and also a summer house which does expressos, coffees, cookies, uh, that's beverages. Made in, uh, Dizzy Springs. Which are, yeah, summer house, yeah, it is. So there you go, there's a little taste of what's to come in Disney Springs. Looks nice, do all cakes and stuff, beers, Juicy Free is another little mart, that's the one where we're going to go and get our drinks from, City Arts Market. Yeah, there's some good looking cakes and stuff in here. Look at these cookies. Ooh, look at them. Wow. Oof, that's a proper crispy treat and a half. Bacon bagel. Ooh, a toasted cheese. That looks nice as well. Oh, I wish we'd have tried here now instead of Starbucks. Idea of what's on the menu. So this will be similar to what's going to be coming in Disney Springs. Loads of salads, sandwiches, different burgers, pizzas. That'd be nice, that'd be a nice mix. You can have a little sandwich. It's, uh, a lot of people say though, a lot of the menus on the restaurants in America are all the same, aren't they? Sandwiches, salads, burgers, pizzas. But uh, no, it was nice, that. Nice bit of decor. Duty free, not sure how cheap that is. Let's see how much like Gordon's is. America's got a very high tax on their alcohol. $31 for a tankery. Uh, Johnny Walker Gold, $83. Gives you an idea, you might. Cause it could be cheaper, I don't know. Pink gin, $25, Gordon's. It's all here. It's just whether it's going to be cheaper to just buy it in the shops in England. So in here they have got the Oakley bags as well, which is what I'm currently using. I'm using one similar to this. I got mine quite a few years ago, but I do like the look of this one though. That's a proper good rucksack, that. I like that. How much is that? They're not cheap. It's a hundred and twenty dollars, but I like it. They're really good. Those ones because nice. they stay the same width. And they're quite, the the they're quite waterproof as well. Yeah. Loads of different pockets. Um, the pockets in them are really good. They normally have like a little. There you go. There it is. They have a sungla your sunglasses um, pouch in the front, which is all fluffy lined for your Oakleys and stuff. But yeah, really recommend these Oakley bags. Mine is still like brand new, and I've, it's been all over the show for about five years now. Yeah, I love the Oakley bags. Swatch, don't think they're going to have any uh, moon swatches in here, unfortunately. They only have them in the main boutique stores, the uh, moon swatches. Right, let's continue. Let's go and get a, good look, a couple of bottles of drink for the uh, for the plane. So heading to our gate now, C238, which is right at the very end. Nice Epcot there. And there's even more the different provisions and sandwiches, little bar here, cash and larder. That looks nice just to sit and chill and have a drink and a coffee or a little beer love this airport loving this does make you uh, a lot more inclined to fly with Aer Lingus again with how pleasurable this has been lovely and quiet through here security was empty does make it very enticing especially that new premium lounge as well if you're flying with Aer Lingus 
in their business class and then you're going to come through here nice premium lounge and yeah, it's nice enjoyed this so here she is and it's the exact same plane that brought us out so we're back on st patrick to go home so a nice view chill here there's even more little um cafes and eateries further along as well I love those these interactive screens make a huge difference seen the one behind you laura nice that oh, wow, it's a nice bit of a scenic view oh, alive? yeah it's just completely changed it'll change again in a minute something completely different yeah it's really good like little charge points in the seats laura's just put her stuff on charge chilling out i'm gonna have a little wander so ah, okay have a little wonder once this is uh once floor is all set up there you go take a little wonder in i do love this screen because it keeps changing i could hear cows i'm like what is that noise and then there's cows on there then before oh, it was a plane taken off yeah our lock's gonna change again see what it becomes now <laughs> keeps changing really interesting yeah it? love nice it really see, good yeah. feature yeah it just passes the time What's it going to become? What do you think, Laura? I think it looks very um, futuristic right now. Yeah, it almost goes into a bit of an Epcot thing, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks like Epcot ball, yeah. Let's see what it changes to. Here we go. I think it's going to be a view of the city, is it? Downtown Orlando, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like downtown Orlando, that. Nice. <laughs> well, it's nearly time to board for us, and that's going to conclude... Uh, yeah, another Florida trip. Obviously, we're going to carry on with the vlog, but we always like to take this opportunity to uh, thank you all for watching up to this point. All of the vlogs, all the comments, the likes on Facebook, Instagram, all of that. Uh, we really do appreciate it. Will we be back uh, anytime soon? Hopefully, uh, we'll be coming in a few months' time. Maybe we'll see. It depends on how the bar goes and flight prices and all of that going on. Do you want to see us come back? Should we go somewhere different? Do let us know in the comments. But thank you very much to this point for all the support and everything if uh, we didn't have all of you watching etc uh, then obviously we wouldn't be able to come as much as we do so we really do appreciate it thank you so much yeah i've enjoyed so, this trip i hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as we've enjoyed living it yeah we're trying to do some different things to show you as well hopefully it does help out with your trips over to florida so you can maximize your uh, your fun when you're over here it's nearly time for us to board we're seat 25 they've done business then seats 30 and higher and then we'll wait for ours, 25. Uh, but made up, we've got those window seats together. We can just relax and yeah, sleep. And I'll nice. go in the window and sleep. Laura goes in the aisle. And uh, I think that'll be good. Yeah, look, the screen's changed again now. The cows are back. Oh, we've seen a couple of rocket launches. And now it's gone to the cows. And it's definitely the best best airport terminal oh, yeah. we've ever, Lovely. ever flown from. Brilliant. It uh, really does. Even if there wasn't a huge price difference in the flights, I'd be still tempted to pay a little bit more to go with Aer Lingus so would I, to, be honest. to get the service and also get this terminal. Something to consider. Definitely, if you're thinking with airports and stuff, you could pay a little bit more. You can come through Terminal C, which is absolutely gorgeous. I believe BA fly from here as well. So if you find British Airways, you've got all this to look forward to. But it's flown by the three hours that we were here for. It's flown by. I feel like we've been here for about an hour. This whole so flown, holiday hasn't it? has just gone. Very like quickly. Um, don't forget if you're not already in the Night Strider Florida fan group on Facebook, do make sure you join that. This could be us. There we go, that's us. So we're good to go. But yeah, don't forget to join the group uh, if you're not already. It's a very friendly group, loads of great info in there as stuff, and you can post up recommendations and all of that. It's time for us to board, unfortunately. I wish we could stay, but unfortunately not. So whilst we all get settled in, I'm just going to what films there are. Lots of loads of different hills. That's a new one. I might watch that. Loads of for everyone. So these are box office films. Then you've got Halloween. Oh, you can watch Megan on this at Andrew as well. I might give Megan a little watch. So these are the Halloween films. Some are kids films. Some are adult films. Oh, we get back to school again. Great adaptations. It's just loads. Choose some all that really long movies. It's loads to choose some one that you can really enjoy and watch. So we've got HBO Max. So 
we've got a whole series of last of us we said this last time we've got quite a lot of tv so really really good so i'll give some of this a watch as well i've also got one or two things downloaded on my phone which i'll probably try and watch and have a nap to later but i'll see how this goes Manchester Central Break. Very welcome aboard Sir Lincoln's UK flight uh, 034 to Manchester. We should be closing up now ahead of schedule. Just some bags to be loaded down there. That'll be completed in the next five minutes. So we should get away a little ahead of schedule. Flight time taking to Manchester will be uh, 7 hours and 50 minutes. Conditions on the route forecast are generally quite pleasant. And uh, through the latter part of our ocean crossing, though, it may get a little bumpy from time to time as we cross through an area of quite strong winds. With the flight being very, very quiet, we are allowed to move seats. We've just asked if we could uh, go in the extra leg room, and they kindly agreed. So we've got extra leg room seats. Very, very kind of Aer Lingus, great service. Nice view out there. If I can stretch my legs, have a little sleep here now. Laura's loving life, got a whole row to herself. Looking good. Here we go, here's mine, which is a chicken option. Looks a bit like sweet and sour chicken with rice. Got a little bit of a chocolate dessert as well. Triple chocolate mousse, that looks nice. A little salad.
salad and a bread roll. Looks good to me. Okay, so Laura, what did you get? Laura's on the road behind me now. <laughs> little salad. What is it? Very plain, just chicken and rice. Could be nice though, simple. Chicken breast and rice, no dessert for you. Maybe I'll give you my chocolate mousse if it's gluten free. You got a bit of bread, oh. Yeah, we did eat quite a big lunch, didn't we? So, welcome everyone to uh, Manchester. Flight was good, really quick. About six and a half hours, seven hours. Landed at uh, 20 past six, and it's now 20 past seven. Took an hour to get off the plane. No stand, we don't know how long it's gonna take for a stand. They won't tell us how long it's gonna take. Then we finally got a stand. And had to wait another 10 or 15 minutes while they decided whether the gates at the stand we were on were open. Just your standard arrival, you know. It's the only airport I know that that seems to happen. It's about four times we've had that now. Where you land and you've just got nowhere to go and you just have to sit on the on the runway waiting. But there we go. Other than that, Aer Lingus flight was great. We both slept. We both got woke up when we were landing. Yeah, didn't see what the breakfast snack was or anything like that. Just slept the whole way through. So, uh, yeah. So now a bit of a rush, get through passport control. And hopefully Dad's picking us up. So, here he is, Mick Garvey's picked us up. Stressed out, 12 quid, because he was, you know, tracked the oh. flight, but then you got to sit there for your... And the same happened to Catherine last week, but sitting there for an hour. You could have given me a little, you know, phone to couldn't say. Couldn't phone? Couldn't, you weren't allowed to turn your phones on with Aer Lingus until you got to the gate and the doors were open. Honest to goodness. It's so a, yeah, an hour. An hour. 12 quid. It's Oops. just the standard here when you land at the moment. Yeah, can't get a stand. Catherine was a full hour. Jeez. Okay. Okay everyone, well it's a few hours later, so we did have a little bit of a nap, just a little one for about an hour or so. Uh, when we got back uh, in the house just because it was quite an early landing so we had a little hour till about 10 and uh, then we got up we had some nice cups of tea a bit of bacon caught up with the family i've just dropped laura back um in uh, mum and dad's and i've now popped back to riot menswear because i'm picking up a pair of on clouds for laura that she's going to wear for work she wanted a work pair and they were on sale uh, so i'm just going to pick up those and then we're going to go back to the house hopefully catch a little bit of the everton game and uh, just relax, chill out. So technically I have powered on through. We had a little half an hour, an hour, uh, nothing major. We didn't sleep till, you know, one, two o'clock or anything like that. Little hour from, I think from half eight to about half nine, quarter to 10. So uh, not too bad. Did power on through. Not feeling too bad either, actually. So uh, we'll head in, grab Laura's shoes and then see what happens the rest of the day.
Welcome everyone to Ask Italian. We've been in here before. Come back. This is in Liverpool. We like it in here. We've just got a last minute walk-in reservation. You're looking very floral there. Yeah, yeah. We were going for a cheeky Nando's. And now we're in Ask Italian instead. Nando's is just over there, but I do fancy a pizza. I've not had one for a while. Mum looking very nice over there as well. Sarah's with us as well. What are you going for? I don't know because I've forgotten my glasses. So I'm waiting for Sarah. Do you want us to order for you then? Tuna pizza, something like that. <laughs> and we've got some, what was this? Lemon, rose lemonade to try. Okay, give that a little go. Yeah, it's nice Italian, this one. I do like the pizzas in here. Where are we? There we go, pizzas and pastas. And then they do some good desserts as well, if I remember rightly. They do a tiramisu. I think I might have to get a tiramisu down. It's, it's on the cards, isn't it? It is. It's been a long day for me, staying up. Jet lag and all that. Hey, I was up at six. Try it. Like a shot. It's better to do the full thing like a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Not fussed on that, no. It's just lemon, like pure lemon. All right, so very bitter. Not quite as bad as Bernie Branca. Bernie Branca, yeah, you like that. <laughs> Are you getting that in the bar? Might do, yeah. Some hangover cure. Oh, tell you, upset stomach, hangovers. Here we go then, here's my uh, pepperoni pizza. Sarah's gone for carbonara. You've gone for, what have you gone for there? Well, it looks uh, interesting pizza. Chicken breast, caramelised onion, rockets, little... Nice, and uh, Dad's gone for nothing. Nothing, I can't afford it. Paying for you lot. I'm going to be Pizza stomping. looks nice. I'm fasting. Good day with a tiramisu. Looking good. Looks a nice tiramisu, actually. How happy can one guy be? Get it down, yeah. I bet you'll be gone look, in three we're bites. Now. Cake in it. Uh, mix of both. Yeah. Mix of both a little bit more on the cakey side, I reckon. Let's see what Mum thinks. Let's see Get it down, yeah. Mum's gone for gnocchi, chocolate gnocchi. Another tiramisu. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. Let Dad have a try. Try this. You poured your Baileys all over it already. It's moussey. Moussey. Okay. Moussey, but very, very nice. So we've just come into the casino, which is just next door to us. Just have a little play on the roulette. Bit of tradition. See if we can get a little cheeky win. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new travel day, and we are off to Tenerife today. So we're going to be travelling from Liverpool to Tenerife with Ryanair. Uh, we're all checked in, good to go. Dad's going to be dropping us off. Uh, so we're going to show you the full flight back to sunny Tenerife over there at the moment. It's a bit of a heat wave. It's going to be a hot one when we land back. We've got to go and get the dog and everything like that. If you're new to the channel, we actually live in Tenerife, so we're retaining home, so to speak. Uh, we've just done a big trip to uh, Florida, so those vlogs are already on the channel. But for us, it's uh, back home, back to work. Back to 100 miles an hour, yeah. Yeah, we have just bought a bar over in Tenerife as well, so uh, it's going to be hell for leather when we get back, sorting all that out, getting all the, the business sorted, etc. But yeah, you can enjoy a nice travel day with us across to uh, sunny Tenerife. Uh, we'll jump in the car and get to Liverpool Airport. So we're all packed up. We're only travelling with hand luggage today. So we've got our two 10 kilos. We paid for the priority boarding, so we get the little second carry-on bag as well. So fully loaded in there. Has got as much gear in as you possibly can. We've got everything in there. I cannot believe how good I am at packing. Yeah, we've got Telling a lot in there from our yeah. trip. So, Dad's kindly dropping us off. <clears throat> about, time, know, about time he did something. You've got said you can't come. Um, I would love to be going back with you now. You know, it'd help you get the bar sorted, get in a bit of shape. Would you? Yeah, yeah. Would yeah. you really? Yeah. Well, I'd, I could sit at the end like an ornament. Pints of cold. But you're over in how many weeks? It's five. Five weeks. Five weeks. I'll be there. Jeez. I hope you've got a You better have that bar open for when I get over. Do my best. <laughs> yeah. We're looking forward to, you know, christening it. What are you looking forward to most? I'm bringing Food over wise, a... restaurant wise. Uh, Lacanda. Right. Lacanda, Loch Ness. Yeah. Vegas Grill. 
Yeah. Um, Chinese somewhere, but uh, I'll have to, I, you know what? If I have a Chinese, I'll have a lot of Loch Ness. Right. Uh, we're at home and we might just sneak off you and I and have the old tap and yaki. Tap and yaki. You and I love it, don't we? It's another one you forgot. Oh. Indian. Oh, of course, and we'll be able to see Harry. See how he is. Your mint tikka that you like. Me mint tikka. Have I got to wait five weeks for all that? It's not fair. Five weeks. Well, oh. you've got good sunshine here. It's October and it's, it's like it's, 20 degrees. It's 20, sun. 22 degrees today. The rest of the family have all gone off to Crosby Beach. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Can't be bad, can it? So you're going to face a heat wave though when you get back to Yes, Tenerife. it's like 35 degrees, oh, relen relentless, oh, oh. unbearable apparently. Where do you need to be when it's like that hot? In a bar. <laughs> Somewhere with aircon, definitely. I know a good one called Woody's. Right. <laughs> Well, it's like a lovely summer's day out here. It's stunning. Absolutely. It's boiling. No wonder they've gone the Wish beach. Wish I was going to the beach it's now. Normally you're dropping us off and it's freezing and it's raining and I'm like, yeah, get me back to the warm. But well, this is well, heaven. Yes, you're going to enjoy, when you get off in about four and a half hours time, five hours, little tweak. 10 degrees, 22 oh, no, to 30 to dry and Kalima <laughs> and everything, I think. It's going to be scorchy out. But uh, looking forward Good to getting to the Tenerife sunshine, of course. But now, yeah, leaving the nice blue skies of Liverpool unreal, behind. Unreal for October. I know, Absolutely really good, isn't it? Gorgeous, so we're going to make the best of it. I'm going in the garden. Might you do a bit me, of gardening. I might get a little bit of a base tan. And we're going to be travelling through uh, the UK's voted best airport. Is it really? Yeah. What do I always say? If UK's fly, number one, this. Fly John Lennon. Imagine all the people. <laughs> Okay, so off to Tenerife we go then. Nice and hot over there. Hot over here. It is, uh, you wouldn't think it was October, you really wouldn't. You'd think this was like July, August. It's lovely. But this is meant to be the last of it. It's meant to all be changing. So I'm sure in a month or so's time, everyone will be itching for a trip to Tenerife to get in the warm, sunny weather. So I think since last time we traveled through, they have made a couple of little changes Put on the departure signs and the arrival signs on the outside and stuff. Beauty is we've got no bags to check in, so we can just go straight oh, up to security. However, security in England's quite tricky, isn't it? Yeah, I think we're guaranteed to be stopped because we've got loads of sachets of prime and stuff that we bought, so they'll probably want to swab all that and stuff. But we've got bags of time, we're here two hours before, so that's exactly uh, how long you want to have. I'm gonna grab a nice little Starbucks as well once we're through. Lovely. Oh, yeah. This'll be nice. So, Jet 2 starting here very soon. Gonna have their flights to Tenerife. We've got EasyJet flights to Tenerife and Ryanair flights to Tenerife all from here. You can see the Ryanair bag drop is completely empty. So, if you were dropping off a bag, it would be very, very quick. The EasyJet one's the same. Be very quick bag drop. But I just find it much easier without doing all that. Dropping the suitcases, weighing it, picking it up, all the other end. It's nice and quiet though, I love how quiet it is. It's oh, heaven. Really? Oh my god, I hope heaven. the flight's quiet as well. Last however. three three flights we've done have all been Manchester related. Yeah. Manchester Airport's good, but very busy, very hectic. This is uh, a lot, lot calmer so far. Hope, hope security is the same. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be to be honest because the Jet 2s haven't started yet, have they? No, I think sun's travelling on a Sunday as well. We always find very pleasurable. Little Sunday flight, so this is a. Yeah. It's not a, not a hugely popular day to travel Sunday, but that's fine by us, a little bit quieter. Definitely need that coffee the other side, but I'm looking forward to getting back to Tenerife. Sunshine. Might go out for a little bite to eat later. We're doing a live stream when we get back as well, so looking forward to it. So here you go then. The Jet 2 flights are already on sale. 20 destinations across mainland Spain, Canaries, Balearics, Greece, Cyprus, Turkey, and the first flights depart on the 28th of March. So 
beginning of next year. Over 565,000 seats on sale for summer 24 as well. So, so that means this airport's going to be hectic. It's going to be busy in the uh, in the summer. It's yeah. great. Good stuff. Four based aircraft. So you'll have four aircraft permanently based and then they'll chop and change and bring in more when they need to and stuff. It's going to be good. So there you go. Jet 2 if you're interested in a Jet 2 holiday from Liverpool worth checking now. Or if you normally do Jet 2 holidays from Manchester always worth checking if the lawn from Liverpool might be a little bit cheaper because it's only down the road. Or might choose to spend a bit more money for an easier easier airport yeah or yeah. something like or a little trip to liverpool before you go more, um, more options more yeah options. definitely worth checking out so we've got three airlines now from here that fly to uh, tenerife south which is brilliant easy jet ryanair and soon to be jet 2. it'll be interesting to see what sort of prices the jet 2 flights come out at when we start looking next year but for now we've got to get through security i'm going to put the phone away concentrate for this bit because I've got loads of electricals and powders and stuff like that that they're going to want to check and uh, liquids as well Laura to got to have it all sealed and all that yeah you get a nice little view from here before you go through of the uh the runway and the airfield down there easy jet on its way out you can't be traveling on a day like this though nice and sunny it makes a big difference doesn't it difference. looking out on the planes and stuff looks lovely out there right let's get through so just a little reminder, don't forget you're going to have your liquids in a clear, sealable plastic bag. These little bags here are a pound in here, so try and make sure you've got it uh, before you come in. And the maximum you can have is 100 milliliter bottles. And just make sure it's in that clear plastic bag. You can't have Tesco's on the side or anything like that. It's got to be one of these clear ones and you've got to be able to zip seal it up at the top. Well, if you want to save a quid, make sure you do it all at home. Yeah, just a reminder, you can't get any of these drinks through, aerosols, you know, any of your little scissors and stuff like that. Just be careful with where next, and it's here, Tenerife. We see an airport rock very soon, Laura. Well, hey. Security all done, it was nice and quiet in there. Oh, yeah. Staff were a bit uh, unfriendly, a little bit, I must say. Some of them, just some of them, were a little bit unnecessarily uh, abrupt. But it's all done. We were uh, all sorted. Yeah. And uh, yeah, didn't get stopped for anything. We were uh, all good, actually. So there we go. Tenerife South, 1420. Gate information at 1335. So we've got 45 minutes to go and enjoy a little Starbucks. Oh, Need anything from Boots, Laura? Are we all done? Oh. We always recommend. I'm just going to mention it again. We always recommend. If everyone, anyone's always asking for about sun cream, what to go for, we always recommend this Boots Sultan. Really good value, five star UVA, five star UVB, really good stuff. They've got kid stuff, sprays, creams. Uh, this advanced one's really good as well, lasts a lot longer. Bit of water resistant. Got a roll on one there as well, not seen that one for the kids. Nice, easy roll on. Got a facial one as well, really, really good stuff, and it's good value as well. Yeah. So that's what we always recommend. You can grab it here in the supermarket, in the shop, in the airport. What you can also do as well, if you're only travelling with hand luggage like us, you can actually make a boots order online and have it delivered here to the shop in the airport That's and pick it up after security. So you could have a big boots order now. Oh my God, wait you, uh, for you, yeah, just wait for you, you just go and pick it up. And That's uh, good. yeah, yeah, you could order all this sun cream and stuff. Once you're through security, you come pick it up. Oh, and uh, really yeah, it's good. good. It's good. They do that in most airports now. That's, that's a really good Something idea. you can consider with liquids if you've yeah. got like shampoos and stuff like that. You don't want to pay for the suitcases, which are, ex you know, they get more and more expensive to put your cases on these days, especially if you're a family. Just each come with your 10 kilo case. Got everything in here. Don't think there's anything particular we need, Laura, other than a yeah. drink. Maybe grab a couple of drinks while it's empty in here. That's what's nice as well. No queues in the shops or anything. You're free to look at everything they've got. Quickly scan it in, pay and go. There's no waiting around or queuing. What are we thinking? I, might get I do like a Ribena light. Yeah, I'm thinking a nice Ribena light. I'm thinking a nice orange, well, oh, pineapple. That's light as well, one. passion fruit one. I do like my Ribena. Ribena's good. I might get two of them. I do like my Ribenas. Just a bottle of water. The water. These are 165 one. each and the water is 159, 159 for a big one. Yeah, yeah, but soon, hopefully, I mean, it's a few years away yet, you can have those new scanners where you won't even have to worry about all this, you just bring oh, everything through. Have attack, and I don't know what the airports are going to do because they make a lot of money with all the drinks and stuff that you can't bring through. But, uh, 
some people won't they'll want a nice ice cold one out the fridge but some people like me will <laughs> yeah. i will uh, put it in a flask or something and bring it saves uh saves yeah. buying it in here i mean look at all like your shampoo conditions and everything yeah it's all amazing. your little ones yeah. just been using that hairspray in florida got to be glued it was okay it's decent right let's pay for these as you can see massive queue to pay not and uh, let's go and grab a nice starbucks so ritaza ritaza is uh, currently closed and then they're currently doing up this big shop here that used to have some of the designer clothes in and stuff that's uh, all being in done off. We are improving your airport. New experience arriving soon. So that could be another eatery or they're just doing up the shop that was here, but well, that's gone. We've got Frankie and Benny's there if you fancy a little breakfast. Do uh, coffees and all that in there as well. And then we've got our duty free. Let's see what sorts of prices are in the duty free. Although alcohol in Tenerife is uh, very cheap. So. Although. Oh, Sicilian lemon. 1250. A bottle nice. of Gordon's gin isn't much cheaper than that in Tenerife. Yeah, cheaper in Tenerife for the Gordon's. Still cheaper, not much cheaper. Still, some people like to pick up some of their favourites, some of the stuff you can't quite get in Tenerife. Got Dead Man's Fingers there. 1289. I think some of the unique stuff, you know, like Jameson's Triple Triple or IPA edition, some of the unique stuff maybe you'd pick up here if you come into Tenerife but your standard Jameson's and Jack Daniels and things like that you're gonna get it over there cheaper if not the same saves you looking it around but if you think if you want like some of the unique stuff like you know um this one here bottled in bond and stuff like that then that maybe you'd pick it up in here a smoky black famous grouse 14 quid southern comfort 18 I don't even know if any of this is cheap. I'm not a massive drinker, so here you go, Laura. Fancy a fireball? Oh my god. Get the party started on your way over. Party time. Gonna be interesting to see how busy our flight is today. It uh, certainly wasn't the uh, cheapest airfare that we've paid to get back to Tenerife before. Flights over to Tenerife staying pretty steady. Well, this is new in the airport. We've got a little bit of a uh, lashes stand and a Bit of a music player here, creating a bit of atmosphere. We're off to here, Starbucks. Little coffee got up across there as well. It's definitely uh, coffee time. Where's Laura gone? Oh, Laura's behind us. Where are we gonna sit, Laura? I think we'll over there. Okay, we'll grab that and then it's, uh, grab a little coffee time. Well, taste test, see if it's good as Florida. Oh, that is nice. Double caramel. Did get myself as well a like, little uh, caramel shortbread as well. Caramel shortbread. Laura's got uh, a pump caramel latte as well. Excited to get back? I am very really excited to see Bit of Tenerife. Get back in my bed. Land on that plane, smell the Tenerife heat. The heat smells, the heat has a smell, doesn't it? It does, Tenerife definitely does, yeah. Got uh, decent little views through here at the uh, runway and stuff. It's nice and relaxing, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got a gate information in about half an hour. Okay, gate's been called, number 14. We're going to head straight there because we want to make sure we get on with our bags and stuff, make sure we don't have to check them in or anything. So I do like to be uh, some of the first at the gate just to make sure uh, we get all our bags on and get them above us where we want them and stuff. Uh, in terms of Liverpool, you have got an Aspire Lounge, which is a nice airport lounge, W8 Smiths, JD, and another couple of different uh, eateries, Kiss and Gaze, Kitchen and Bar, etc. It's a little bit busier down here. That was pleasant, that, just chilling in Starbucks. Time went really quickly. Oh, yeah. Sorry. By the time you've done a few emails and stuff, you're uh, good to go. Comes up pretty quick. So Laura, same question I ask everyone. Yeah. Favourite part of travel day? When it's over and then we're at the destination and I have to relax. When those uh, doors open on the plane, you feel the heat? Not even that, when I'm literally through and I'm in the car on the way. Right. Okay. This is the bit that frustrates me a little bit, is they get you in here, get you to the boarding gate barely early and then you just stand in here for hours. Yeah, Could have just we been were, chilling in Starbucks for longer. We getting our passports checked when the plane's always coming in. Yeah, why so early? 
so it's quicker for them once it's all done. Yeah, because they get you on as quick as they can, but could have been point, enjoying though, another yeah. half an hour at Starbucks, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, could have been just chilling somewhere, <laughs> down charging the phone, yeah. So we're nearly there, nearly there, hopefully. Here we go then, we're getting on. Exciting times. Looking forward to a nice Ryanair ham and cheese toasty or something like that if I can. Planning on a little bite to eat at some point. A little, uh, little snacky snack, do a bit of editing, have a little nap. You've got a good flight ahead of you, though. Yeah, I always look forward to getting a little ham and cheese toasty and a thing of Pringles. Hopefully, if they've not sold out. Fingers crossed. So let me know in the comments, do you get a plain snack or a aeroplane snack or do you avoid it? I quite like it, they're expensive. I quite like getting it, kills a bit of time. It does, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Wizz Air also fly from uh, Liverpool as well. Not to uh, Tenerife, but they do fly from here. Okay, so here we go. We're going to the back entrance. Nice last little bit of fresh air. Gorgeous out here today, yeah. Still amazed this is October. Lovely. Wouldn't mind working out here for a few hours. Views of the plains and all of that. Here's our bed, Ryanair. How many Ryanair flights do you think we've done now over the oh last few God. years? You can find out. That'll be interesting oh, to find. Done a lot, an awful lot. But they aren't normally the cheapest. And uh, never really had an issue with Ryanair. I know a lot of people have, but never had an issue with them. Get you there on time most of the time, even if they're late, not by much. It's normally just play by the rules, good to go. Well, we got lucky with a uh, seat in the middle. Oh, that's amazing. Now I've just got to get lucky with a toasty now. We're not too far from the back, so we might actually get one. Okay, you might get one. That'd be nice. Ham and cheese panini, I'm thinking. Mm, nice hot chocolate for me. Mm, yeah, we're going to yeah. be lucky. We should get a nice takeoff view as well, which I'm going to film for you.
Woods to get one, a uh, cheese and ham panning beef with one coke as well. And I've already had So unfortunately, with the weather the way it was, we did have a Kalima, which is a big, thick stand sandstorm. So you couldn't really see much of the views coming into Tenerife. It would have been nice if it was clear. You can see uh, the outline of uh, Mount Tady there. But yeah, it was a little bit hazy landing. So not quite the views I'd hoped to capture for you all. But it was uh, just a relatively easy, smooth flight to Tenerife. Okay, so here we are, just landed. Straight away we can see the uh, water helicopters fighting the forest fire that has restarted over here just now. So they're coming down to uh, scoop up a load of the water. And I'll tell you what, you feel the heat straight away. Okay, here we are then. So we just come straight out, just straight ahead is all the taxis if you want to get any of those. Uh, buses are all here as well. But we're heading straight to pick up our Sanasti Venter car. If any of you are new to the channel, I do own a car rental company over here. So I've arranged for one of the staff to put one of our rental cars uh, in our usual place at the airport. So we're gonna go and quickly go and grab that, jump in that and we're off. Dead straight and easy, no paperwork to fill in. Everything's done in advance, so. You'll be getting, you'll be seeing the exact experience that the clients get, just walking straight to the car, everything's sent in advance. You literally just walk straight up, find the car and away you go. You've also got the airport express just there that you can see that green bus. That can get you to Los Cris for about three euros 40, I think. Las Americas, Costa Adeki as well. So if you do want to jump on the public bus, that's the airport express, just go to the airport and back all day long. Yeah, I'm going to jump in the car. I think we've got a nice automatic T-cross we've got. And then we're going to go straight to pick up the dog, I think. But yeah, the uh, flight was good. Standard Ryanair flight. I just did loads of editing, had a little nap. Just a pretty standard flight. We did take off about 20 minutes late. Um, and then coming in there, you could see all those, uh, all the helicopters. There was five of them in total all just finished for the day because it's going dark all those helicopters that are fighting the forest fires which have reignited over here don't think there's too much to worry about in terms of tourists and resorts and things like that it is right up in the mountains again like it was a couple of months ago about a month ago so i'll find out more information now i'm back on that i've been reading bits of the news but find out a little bit more info yes yeah, standard Ryanair flight enjoyed my uh, ham and cheese Little sandwich panini. It's good to be back. It's lovely and warm, I'll tell you that. Warmer here than it has been in Florida. That real Kalima sort of dry, sticky heat. Very warm for half seven at night. Very warm. Right, head straight into the public car park. Find our car. I know where it is. Obviously, it would all be emailed to you in advance. But we don't give away too many details until you make a reservation. So yeah, the car's just in here waiting for you. You know exactly what you're looking for. You know exactly where the key is. And you jump in and off you go. It's that quick and easy. No queuing up at desks, no filling in paperwork, no hard sale, different insurance packages. Booked, in, off and done. So we're gonna be off the plane and in the car within about 15 minutes, which is good going. Oh, here it is, our T-Cross that we're picking up. You might remember this one. Uh, for if you watch the vlogs, this was the one that was uh, dinked up tidy and they put new tires on and stuff. So this is that one that was in the news uh, where the guy had had a little bit of a, a nightmare with a stone in the road and stuff. Right, let's jump in. 10 to eight, job done, in the car. We're gonna uh, head and get the dog. And then we've got a live stream at nine o'clock, hopefully. So we've got to get a bit of a move on, but uh, good to be back. Good to be back in one of the cars as well. Oh, he's happy to be home. You happy to be home, Rio? Hey? Yeah, he's got a big smile on his face. 
Well, everyone, that concludes our epic trip to Florida for this series. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, if you did, do please hit the subscribe. Make sure you hit the thumbs up as well. Let us know in the comments your favorite part of this trip. Did you see something new that you're definitely going to try next time you go to Florida or the first time you're going? Is there anything in particular that you saw in this series that you enjoyed? Do let us know down in the comments because we love to see your feedback. We love to see what you enjoyed from watching the vlogs. I'm, I'm sure it has given you many ideas of things you'll want to do when you're there. But thank you all very much for watching. Watch this space because I'm sure we will be back. So uh, do keep a close eye on the channel. Make sure you join the group on Facebook as well, the Night Strider Florida fan group. And of course, stride on.